See You're about to have a field day, just so you know. Like, I'm already embarrassed right now. So, All right, let's see it. Uh, what's frustrating is I was dogging everyone, and then I did that too much and died. And well, let's see. Let's see how you did it. The CS, I'm already... I don't know how it was, but I have a feeling I do. <laughs> So you're facing one of the most obnoxious lanes in the game right now. The fleet's actually pretty cool here. Um, I think it's okay versus this type of matchup, you know? Yeah, and GP, he, just with his poke early, it's so hard, honestly. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind the fleet take. I, I can't imagine fleets while you're in the CLO. Let's put it that way. Appreciate you. That's how I, that's how I think. I think summoner or uh, keystones start really mattering, like... Like really high diamond and master and stuff like that um and i don't think even if this was high elo i think fleet's okay i also think electrocute could be okay here yeah, um because they're pretty squishy but it, again again it boils down to just i think i think with a collie versus gp i think you can make a, a pretty good argument for fleet just because this matchup's so fucking obnoxious that nice yeah, I mean, if you trade like that, it's still fine anyways, right? Yeah. It just really is for the sustaining lane, kind of. Okay, so we sweat. Oh. All right. <laughs> Mistake one. I'm never pushing this wave. Heard that. This is a mistake. He didn't have... So he didn't have TP with I know. my thought process. Well, that's uh, that's all the reason. Exactly. Time. So the idea is that you would base um, and probably try to walk it first. And then I could have just caught that free wave exactly. and lost maybe one or two CS and he would have been shoved yes. with nothing to do. Yes. Yeah, so I, so yeah, I do this all the time. So, so as soon as, as soon as, listen, this is, I want you to really try to do this if you get these lane kills, okay? Just start reminding yourself, as soon as you get this kill, as soon as you realize like, aha, I'm out, right? You probably figured it out right here, right? This is where you're like, I, can you hear me? You there? Yeah. Can you? Okay. You good? Yep. Gotcha. Okay. As soon as you get this kill, you figure out that you're safe right here, right? You're like, aha, freedom. Correct? Motion back. Yeah. Okay. So you knew that you were free. Your eyes now need to do like a, a quick, like you need to do accountability here. So you immediately just look at the wave and just start counting. All right. So I just go six, six, four. All right, cool. I touch this brush. I press B. Done. Heard that. And I had TP up. So even if you're exactly, even if we're wrong, which I don't think we are, we could just TP and then yeah. So you like to push? Yeah, and then I I don't know if I in here or what. I forget, oh yeah, probably. Yeah, it looks like I just ended. Yeah. yeah. It's but, a it's a it's a. Oh. You get bailed out. I, I, but it still was yeah. It was such a stupid play. Yeah, this is one of those plays where when it happens, I love these types of plays because it's like, when you get away with it, you're like, haha, I'm so good. But it's like, yeah, it's so it garbo. Yeah, it's it so garbo. Because <laughs> you could have, the funny thing about this play is you would have gotten the same result if you just did what I said. And yep, it would have been a absolutely. lot less risky because Sejuani would have came up, <laughs> right? Nine she would have came out up. Nine times out of 10, I'd die right there, yes. you know? So like, I totally agree. That's a good that's a good learning moment. But the cool thing is you get the lottery win, right? This is the lottery win. So now you are fed, like you said. Now this game is just disaster for gangplank, right? Like he's just getting fucked. Could be. All right, let's talk about this itemization here. So you go seekers. Now this so I, Yes. Yeah. I want to explain Loki, I've been testing out different starts and i have actually so i've been getting a lot of like aries and vagar mids so i've started rushing uh verdant whatever it's called verdant mm -hmm. barrier i think and i've still for a long time i was like akali doesn't have the damage if i don't go pure you know the right mythic first i won't have the damage to kill people but the past couple days i've been eating people even with uh you know like slightly more defensive okay so uh, that i'm okay with i like the way you're thinking however are we really are we really needing to go energy. this defensive versus this guy with this champion right now so yeah no but again my i grabbed the dark seal also and i'm trying to get stacks on that rush the zanyas keep my stacks up and kind of carry through that was my thought process but as you see it doesn't end up working 
Yeah, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of this buy. I think it's kind of like I don't I don't harp on itemization too much because I just don't think it's necessary a lot of the time. But I think here you're making a mistake because I just have no I just don't believe for a second we're ever dead to these two. Like ever. Yeah. Um and I don't I'm not even sure that Seekers is gonna help versus Gangplank, even if we think about how you're gonna die versus Gangplank. What's he gonna actually how's he actually gonna kill you? Well, yeah, he's gonna well. barrel you, which is gonna be armor pen anyways, right? And then He's going to auto you, which is going to be true damage anyways. Then he's going to ult you, which is going to be magic damage. And then he's going to ignite you, which is going to be true damage. Do you see where I'm going with this? Yeah, so it's no point. And honestly, I, I, looking at the item, it's 20 AP versus I could have got Hexec Alternator. And that's, I forget how much it is, but with the little passive damage too, it's way more than... So this is that. basically, this is basically, in my opinion, like I said, I do not harp on itemization too much, but I think this is a troll buy here. Yeah, heard that. Heard just that. for this purpose because like what what you're saying though is the way i view the game so i kind of agree with your logic it just doesn't work with him and the other yeah. thing is like i don't want you to think i don't want you to think that i'm telling you building uh this is why i'm letting you get away with the fleet here i don't mind being more sustain based i don't mind it because i think a lot of players do try to over cap on damage but i just think here it's it's almost like you're facing gangplank dude just build damage for fuck's sake yeah, like that's the I'm long old, like, i, sh I should have pressed my advantage to be honest yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a long story short. It's like you're facing GP, build damage, please God, just kill him. Like, yeah. just honestly. <laughs> like if I was facing a Kali and I and I failed this hard early, I I would know that I'm about to get just run the fuck off the map for 30 minutes and want to hang myself. I so I didn't do that because yeah, I feel you. And honestly, had I not been, I've I've gotten mid a bunch um, lately. So this I movement was good. Okay, thank you. Right here. I think in just a second he comes and fucks me, I'm pretty sure. This was really slick. Ooh. Oh, I was hoping that worked. I yeah, couldn't yeah. tell if he could see me or not. But that's yeah. why the, uh, you saw I saw it right away. That's how yeah, you know I do this full time, dude. I, I yeah. saw it right away. I was like, yep, that's a good movement. That's good. Keep working with that. Because now when he pops a barrel, you could fuck with him here. And I think that's what your plan is. Yeah, I just, the fucking Lee, I didn't know. I'm pretty sure this is oh. weird. At some point, oh. yeah, yeah, report. Honestly, times nine right there. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yep, no, this I'm is how kidding. I knew, this is how I knew this would go. So he's going to all in us now. Here's the ignite, yeah. Okay, so we're surviving. I'm sure I miss it. Yeah, there you go. That's another one. Yeah, and look at the lack of damage. Bro. Yes. If I had Hexec, that would have been... Yes freest thing on earth granted we still got a little cleanup but like yes okay so my memory might be a little shoddy but i i swear to god this game goes south so fast i'll keep skimming so we don't waste too much time on yeah i'm sorry but yeah look like look at this there's no reason i should lose this game at this point and somehow i fuck her into it yeah all right let's talk about this for a second I don't know if I'm repeating, but I still should. Oh, he did. I should have seen it too. Oh, because that's kind of early. Actually. Oh, no, it starts being it. It'll be in. Uh, <laughs> After missing like half my ability. I just leave here. Yeah. After that plate, for sure. Yeah, this is this is just pure unadulterated greed. I mean, it's not even greed. What, what does it even do? What does it even do? You never get a plate. Yeah. I don't know. Try to, try to, okay, this is a good learning moment. When you get wins like this, take a small, take a small piece, okay? A plate, if the, and, and here's a little good rule of thumb for you too. Um, so that when you killed the GP, the when you killed the GP, you killed him here, right? Yep. If you killed the GP here, push the wave to tower and just close the chapter here, right? You killed the GP here, take one plate and close the chapter then. Take a small piece, inch by inch. Remember, you're going to be in these games for 30 minutes most of the time anyways. Right. 25, 30. So these little like, oh, I could just get a little. Like this is, that's why plates are designed like this. That's what plates are designed for. They want, they, like right, wants you to ping pong the gold Me back too. and forth. <laughs> right? So take a small piece because right now, by all accounts, like you could have taken that plate, even though taking the plate to me looked a little sus. I'm okay with it because we're still a collie, we still have ult. But like, 
I think anything beyond one is just unnecessary. You have enough gold here again for whatever you want to build, even if it's yeah. a troll build. And look, I still keep shoving the wave. Yeah. Yes. I, yeah. And I think right Pieces. there is where the whole game turns. Because it I does. It big. does. Because you gave you gave one of those scary champs a big, big batch of gold, right? Yep. And so now and the game he, just gets a little harder. He was fucked mid. His CS was bad mid. Heimer was doing great. And I, I'm pretty sure right there is where I threw that one definitely hurts. That one stings. Let's see what happens though. I mean, it's not game over yet. Yeah, nope. What? We're swagging. I just didn't, I didn't want him to back. That's all. I knew he was trying to back, so I went for this. I'm pretty sure I just... I, I get super fed this game, and I, I know that I make a bunch of stupid mistakes that I can't... Like, I should not lose this game at this point. What am I, 7-1? Yeah, this was this was good. And then you went, you shoved bottom. Alright, reset. Here. Yep. Yep. You're getting off there's at no, There's no plates even. I don't know what I'm doing. These I don't little... take towers. GP is taking mine. I think well, the thing is, is I would have shoved in and backed and then maybe TP to top and then knock this tower down and get rift or something. It would have been cool. Been free. Free game. Yeah. I I don't know. And this is with Zonya's first item too. Okay, so let's like, look at this flank. So we do wind up top though, which is cool. Okay. I just, this is why I'm so mad about this one. And I know that I makes a bunch of, like, why am I not taking the tower? Here's the, oh. um, remember the chores analogy? Yeah. Okay. Good Small call. piece. Just yep. take the piece, do the chore, right? And then maybe assess it. Maybe I could shove one more with my team here, right? You've got all, you've got everything. But I don't you're... even know what we're doing. I, I don't even know what we're doing. <laughs> I literally have no idea. Oh, I guess we were making a rift play, and I'm just kind of waiting for somebody to walk up and die. But I go for this Silas. I don't know. This isn't that bad. This isn't that bad. I don't remember the mid game quite as well, but I'm like, I know I make some dumb mistakes. Like, this game okay. is so free. Bro. <laughs> so you get this, and you take this kill. So, We're kind of out of control here now. Yep, yeah, and I have no energy for this fight. Also, yeah. did Silas TP? He did. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I think he's. Yeah. So this is out of control. So. 800 on misfortune right there. So let's talk about why it's out of control. Uh, similar logic here. You don't really have a group near you. Um, and you just don't have lethal on anything. Yep. You I, might have lethal. Have you might have. No, you don't even have lethal on Lee because he's he's. I don't think he's ever dying to you with his team nearby. Nope. Oh, well, they're pretty far away. Maybe if you hit the E, maybe. Yeah. But after you miss the E, you just need to run like leave. Like just yeah. go to fucking go to bottom, like go to, go to reset or just regroup, regroup CDs, like take a break, take a break. I was looking for like the easy ADC pick or something, but why would they do it? Yeah, it's just, it, it is. It's an, it's unnecessary for you to even be there. Honestly, it's probably better. These are why I like, this is why I like just pushing lanes, like when I don't have anything. Right. And I recently watched, I mean, not, not recent. I've been watching your videos and you always talk about uh, giving guaranteed gold from lane up for like iffy gold from going to chase kills. And I've been trying to work on it, but clearly... I'm not doing so great in that regard. So this is wave. Uh, yeah, this is wave 33. How are you counting them? Oh, I just know them by now, but oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just know I know how to math it quick. So this is wave 33. This is about 300 gold there. So yeah, I mean to your point. Yep. And I'm chasing the iffy. And none of them had shutdowns or anything. I don't think. Like I don't know what I'm doing. This is like, so this is basically, yeah. So you're going for a gimmick, which arguably is going to give you less gold and less. Like, the key, remember one thing about champion kills, by the way, and this is something that, this is like another reason why champion kills aren't actually that important. Like when they're close like this, obviously your champion needs to kill people. I'm not saying you should AFK split. And I don't want you to leave this lesson thinking that, but you just got to kill on Silas. You're living life, right? You're huge. Yeah. Try to find that open 
freebie since you don't have anything else to do, but you can't be caught easily either. Right? That's the like the Trindomir mindset or the Garen mindset. I can't be, you know, when I play in Trindomir, and let's say I make a dive on somebody. It's the same thing with Akali. It's every champion that follows these rules. Nocturne, all the all those champions. When you find a pick, you're kind of useless after. However, if you play this little head game. Where you go, okay, I got the kill. I don't know what's with this fucking screen. Just take a breather for a second. And decide. Here, I probably wouldn't back because backing feels a little strange. Because they're clearly going to go for dragon, right? Yeah, okay, so looking at the map and seeing drag come up, my thought process was clearly, hey, I just shoved that wave. I'm going to go try and ambush them. I'm huge right now. You know, Lee was level 9, I was level 12. You're not huge, I though. I, I mean, you, you're huge. Yeah, too. you're you're huge. But you're not no. huge. No, again. you're not yeah. huge. You're right. Absolutely. This is this is how this is like that plate thing that we just went over. It's the way the game's designed. It doesn't matter. You could be level 18. If you don't have this shit, you're not huge. Okay. okay. You can make you can mechanic your way out of stuff. You could go in here if you have everything, and you can mechanic your way out of it probably. Yeah. But you don't, and that's just how the game is built. If I take Trinomir and I spit, if I start fucking with Lee Sin and the fight drags, and I'm huge, right? Your words, it doesn't matter if I don't have ult. It doesn't matter if I'm Nocturne, if I don't have ult. If it's like you're just playing with a, you're basically risking a lot for nothing. There's, there's not really a need. And then what I would have probably thought about is just like, okay, well, Silas is dead. These little goofy chickens here, I could grab those or back, right? Uh, yeah. And just float around and just kind of feel feel out what's going on in the game here because I just don't have a play. And then and it once you fought with the team too, like yeah, we could, we could have team fought. Everybody was doing decent, I think. Pull so back, I, yeah, pull back. S take take this wave, right? Like I said, this is a three hundred dollar wave. So just you again check, like be like, oh, this is coming, right? You're. Yeah. You've got to do your chores. You've got to. You've got to. You got to go in hills and valleys in this game. Okay. So like, think like this. I have ult. I don't have ult. I have ult. I don't have ult. I have ult. I don't have ult. These down times are the times where you find the CS right, the push right, the objective right. These are the times when you or or group. Another way to think about it is just like maybe I just flat group and like kind of feel out the fight since i don't have ult i'm gonna play it really defensive but none of this stuff is like up here right like this is that. all in right like this, that is, analogy. this this is, is like bait. When, they say, when they say tempo this is what it is yes you know? this is all in this I, is bait this is uh what was the other one this is the fucking dive scenario from last game you had everything you had azonias right like these yeah. are the moments when we're on the highs and we play that out that way with whereas with the lows you just want to try to find that that sneaky shit you you need to play it you need to almost be religious about it you need to play it in a way where it's like i know that i feel powerful but i'm gonna resist the temptation to do dumb shit and i'm just gonna do the small wins because i just i i've been playing this like you've got to think of it like this i've been doing this long enough i know if i don't have my ult it's just not gonna be as clean it's never gonna be as clean heard that yeah okay and again this like I know we don't have a super long time, but yeah, this is, it just keeps, I just keep making these stupid little mistakes and throw it all. Yeah, it's a big risk. It's a big risk and you didn't risk it with something substantial, right? If you want to swag on people, do it the way that I was telling you before, where think about it. And again, you said it yourself, dragons up. Okay. Well, you, since you don't have big power, that's why you should try to do things like cheat and b bait somebody into guarding you or something, right? And then just pull yeah. off and then group in a weighted fight. And I told, I mean, I just egoed really hard. That's, I, uh... I mean, at least you own it. I mean, you're gonna do it. It happens. Like, I do it. Everybody does it eventually. But the thing is, is the frequency, right? I do this yeah. less than you do. And the only reason is because I see these plays so often that I just know, like, I, I don't have to prove anything. I know how the game flows, and I know I'm in a down, I'm in a down moment right now. Yep. It's the downtime. It's the yin and yang, so to speak. Yeah, so now, once you die here, it's gonna hurt a lot because, you know, again, Riot's designed this game for moments like these. You do some dumb shit like that, well now GP is gonna get a big wave crashing, you're gonna miss a lot of farm, he might take your top side, which you might have been able to guard after you pushed mid, or you may have forced him to back, like there's a lot of things, or you group in after. Um, yeah, it gets messy. 
and it, you know a mistake like these a couple here or there the game gets more and more towards the coin flip right even if you were big it's a cool slow push concept now that was a misplay you should have walked after him that was a mistake he's dead there I'll show you what I mean. All you know vision now. Right there. Yep. So yep. he can't see you here. Damn it. Yeah. Hug that wall. Because you know he's... Once he clears the wave, he might move. So this is where I stand in spots like these. Really good. Yeah. And he turns. Back, muscle. Now watch he it. Been one yeah. shot easy. Watch how I he sees ignite. it. Watch. Now he would have seen you. <laughs> Too late. Yeah, he's dead. So... That was just a, a mismanagement of vision. Like, whenever you see them clearing waves, try to, like, cheat right into these little pockets. I love these pockets. All of these are really fucking powerful. I need to watch more VODs from the opponent's perspective because that's... It's You're nice seeing it, right? To, yeah, it's nice to see the fog of war and how it works better. You know? Yeah, so once you... Like, okay, a good way to train on this is, like, next time, ask, like... The way I do it is I get really excited if I kill somebody in this way and I go watch it back. And I just put my camera and I just watch them getting fucked up. A classic one I did in a game was like, uh, I did it on Jace. It was a game where I did it like three times in a row to people. And I was just in weird fucking spots like over and over. <laughs> and the thing was it kept like, I kept panning to the enemy team and it would just be like this. It would just be shroud. And they would like turn a corner and just get one shot. Cause you know how Jace has like his EQ, his full like yes. rotation. Yes. Just I get, lost like, Jace yesterday. Actually. Yeah. So you get like run shot or like a guy would walk like this, right? And it's like, he would go like this and I'm standing here. And again, just like one shot here. Right. These, you, you watch those back over and then you'll start to, you'll start to visually like understand like, what are they seeing? And then you can exploit it. Um, cool. So, we killed the gangplank. It's, it's a little messier than it needs to be. I think you agree. You saw the vision mistake. We could have probably killed him. And then, what the fuck? Weird ass camera. <laughs> so, TP flank. Nice. Dude, watching it is so frustrating because we had every reason to win this. All right, here's another play you missed. Assist ping. I don't hear assist pings. One. And two, assist ping the Heimerdinger ping is TP. Mm. This is advanced, but as you're looking around the map, think how can we get Baron? Like, figure it out. If he backs and TPs or if he just cold TPs over, it's good. Smart. So, I actually, I have... I've been working on... Uh, because I, I, again, I watch regularly, so I'm like, I'm working on kind of telling people to go to Baron when we get a good play earlier, so I'm trying to get better at that, but yeah, clearly, it didn't do it. He does TP there, so you didn't have to macro for him there, apparently. <laughs> All right, so the Hammerdinger TPs, you say you hate Silas? <laughs> Yeah, man. That W is so... The reset. Silas? Oh, okay. I thought it said 17. See? But I'm, I'm blanking on the Silas, and I should so, have for their back. <clears throat> let's talk about that, and this is what we'll close with. So... Grouping here, I think, is okay. Um, you know, you don't really. Your fight, your team fight is your team fight is okay here because Gangplank did just use ult before you reset. So I'm not against this team fight. You got a lot of you got a lot of ults down. Um, enemy team has a lot of ults down. So I think it's a perfectly reasonable team fight spot, or should be. GP no ult. Okay, Misfortune has ult. These guys have ult. GP no ult. So the team fight spot's okay. Heimerdinger, no ult. Your team's got some ults. Like, it's not terrible by no means, right? It's about even. Here's the problem, though. Why the fuck are we, f are we front to backing? You're bigger than everybody in the lobby. Yeah. And all you have to do is start moving like this. Damn it. 
Your yeah. front's a backing, and what's gonna happen is they're gonna. They're, you guys are literally gonna. You ever play Risk before? You know that game. Yeah. Roll some fucking dice, and everybody just yeah. fucking slams into each other. That's what this <laughs> is. It's Risk. There's no. There's no logic here. There's five champions. Some team's gonna win. Some team's gonna lose. Right. Yeah. If you had just pulled the like any sort of movement in this shroud, look at their vision. And you telegraph it. Like I straight when I'm in these spots, I literally just walk right in front of them and go just like this. <laughs> God. And that would have been eating. Honestly, the Silas, I know what I was thinking because the Silas killing me had me pissed off and I was like, I'm going to burst this fool real quick and then go. But you can't burst Silas real quick. Yeah. If you're hit. Yes. So the idea is what you're trying to do. You see how they're balled up like this? Yeah. What flanks do is they put solo queue in it. It's a tough spot because if you move like this, and even if you just E over this wall here for a bit, actually, how long is E cool down at this stage? Is it too long for that type of play? Seven? Yeah, we could do it. So you could just walk over and just E over right in their face, right? And just start wiggling around back here. What this is going to do is it's going to force them to start doing this shit where people just break off. People just break rank. Because they don't That's know. Yeah. And they're all scared, Loki, at this point. Like, they know that I'm pretty big, you know. Exactly. Gonna, exactly. This isn't, this so. isn't, this isn't like, oh, a level 10 Akali is walking around. Yeah. Right? You're, you are their game. You're their game. So trust me, every single one of them, right? Now, if I'm, brother, if I'm playing like chill niece or whatever, right? And I'm playing <laughs> fucking Sona right now. I'm like, well, I better ult this Akali or I lose. Heard that. Right? Like if I'm Lee Sin, I'm like, oh, I'm garbage at Lee Sin. But if I can kick this Akali, maybe I'll, maybe I'll win. Literally. And that's what happens. They all are like, Watch. fuck you. Yeah. Watch. Watch their Silas focus. They just, just couldn't get it. I couldn't get the kills off. They just know. They know that they just have to get rid of you. Yep. Like they know it. And so because of that, because you 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 kind of played it their game and you didn't remember like that that turret play too over here. I want you to be okay or the Baron play. I want you to be okay with like just a little bit of chaos for a second. Yeah. A lot of college players do this where they like they try to play the fight super fast. You don't have yep. to. Work the side. Watch any pro uh, pro match where pros play a Kali and watch how they set up for team fights. And this exact situation, you would see Caps sitting in this bush. Or like, you know what I mean? You would see yeah. any, like, figure, you see him moving around in, like, a weird spot to the side of Not their team. Frontlining, probably. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, that's what I got for you today. Man. Fun well, session, man. I really appreciate you. Uh, you know, I've been a fan for quite a while, so it, it's really cool to actually get to interact with you, man. So, no, no, this was good, man. I, I think you're, I think you're, you're mental for the game. I think your approach to the game is really healthy, probably healthier than mine was when I was platinum, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Um, I think as long as you keep working on what we talked about today, uh, go back over it because there was a lot. Um, but the big thing is like keeping calm, thinking about those chores and trying like the, the, the highs and lows is what I think you need to look at more. Right, play, yeah, play into low. those lows a, a little bit more like concretely, like where you just you go. I'm farming here. It's fine. Yeah, right, it's cool. Something happens somewhere else. Just focus on the chore and then go. And then go, and then when you have, then go, and, and when you have no the play. Rushing and dying, you know. Yeah.